Hey guys, what is going on? This is Matt here, and welcome to some more custom zombie scripting. So then guys, in this video I'm going over how to add in a musical easter egg into your map. Now then, um, just for the purpose of this video, okay, I won't actually be playing any music, okay, I'm just going to be making text appear on the screen, okay. So then, pretty much how it's going to work is when the player goes up to models, in this video I'm going to be using um, the models of teddy bears, uh, you know, like they're doing some of the easter eggs. And uh, I'm using three of them, okay, now you can use more or less than three if you want to. Uh, you just need to basically just modify the script. Um, and obviously, you know, add in more or less models into the actual map. So then, uh, you know, along with the triggers. So then, when the player goes up to each of the models and they activate them, now you can activate these in any order whatsoever, okay. Um, it doesn't matter which order, you can just do any of them. Um, as long as you do all of them, so in this case it'll be all three, um, something's going to happen. Now, as I said earlier, in this case, some text will appear on screen um, to let us know that we've done it, pretty much. Right, so then, first of all, what we need to do is open up the launcher and go into Asset Viewer, so we can actually get the model of the teddy bear. So, let's do bear. There we go. Got the teddy bear model. Now, let's go into Radiant. and put this model into the map and also put the trigger around it when it wants to load there we go right so let's do this right so open up our map that's his on the youtube there we go okay so then, um i'm gonna put the model in this corner this corner here so Right click on your 2D grid view, go to MISC and model. There we go, open up that. Put this sit in the corner. There we go. Make sure it's all on the floor as well. There we go. Right. I'm gonna put this into three locations now then. Like I said earlier though guys, if you want more or less than three of these, um you really just need to put more or less than three. And just you know, pretty much just modify what I'm doing in this video to suit how many you have, pretty much. So yeah, so that's we got all three in the map. Now we need to put the trigger on these. So right click in the 2D grid view again. Go to trigger and damage. There we go. Put the trigger around it. Now then we need to add a KVP into this, which is target name. Target name. And I'm going to call this trigger bear one. Okay, so you can call it really whatever you want. I'm just going to call it bear one. So we're going to name this one bear one, um, that bear two, and the one out here bear three. Okay, right. So target name bear one. There we go. I put that in the description, guys, for you if you, you know, if you want to have a look at that. So uh, I put this, this KVP in the description for you. So the next. Because I don't want the player to knife it and activate it, um, we can use these options here, these tick boxes, and we can pretty much make it so the player is only able to activate it through certain things. So because it's a trigger damage, the player can't go up to it and you know hold F on it or something. Um, the trigger, you know, just won't work for that anyway. So it's only gonna you know accept some sort of damage towards the trigger. So. Um, I'm going to pretty much let it get activated by anything except from knifing, okay? So you can knife it, which is melee. So you go take the melee, so melee underscore no. So that's, you know, if you go to it and knife it, it will not register, you know, it won't actually activate that trigger um, when you knife it. So close that down. There we go. Oh, by the way, sorry, just a quick thing. Uh, that spawn flags 32, that's added when, you, when I ticked that, okay? So uh, as you could see before, you know, when I ticked it, that got added. Um, that's pretty much just so you don't have to enter it. You know, just so we don't have to enter it manually, that's all. Right, so let's go over to this one over here now then, and add the trigger around this. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before to, you know, to bear number one. Except on this one, I'm going to call it bear number two. So exact same thing. So target name. Bear two. And melee them. There we go. And let's go to bear number three now then. And do the exact same thing again. But now we're going to do bear underscore three. 
So we're targeting bear three. There we go. And melee them. There we go. So then, everything we need to do within Radiant is now done. So now we can save this and close down Radiant. So next thing we actually need to add in the script. Now, I will be leaving a download link in the description, guys, for the scripts that I'll be making in this video. Just so you guys can download it, you know, and take a look at that if you need to. So then, go over to your root directory, to the root directory to raw and to maps, and find your map name.gsc. So, I'm going to put this over to my desktop, and we'll open it from there. There we go. I'm just going to quickly change the view a second. There we go. And that's just so I can see it, or, you know, I can read everything a bit easier, pretty much. Right, so then, to do this, because this isn't going to require us to activate each bear in a particular order, we can't do it by just, you know, waiting for each trigger to be activated, okay? Now, the only way that I could think about doing this right now is by doing three separate threads, you know, so three separate functions to, um, to pretty much track each of the bears, and then when all three bears have been done, you know, all three bears have been activated, um, it would then um, run the script for like, the like the final part, you know, like, the actual reward part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do level thread, bear one, bear two, and bear three. So level thread, bear one. Okay. Now down here we'll actually make the the function for this. Okay. I'm just going to make all the threads up here first. Though, okay. So we're going to do this three times for bear one, bear two, and bear three. If there's anything here, okay, guys, that you don't understand completely. I will try and explain it as I'm going along, but I have actually made other videos on exactly, you know, pretty much what I'm doing here right now. I've already made a video explaining what I'm doing, so I definitely recommend you guys go and have a look at the other videos in the scripting series, and, uh, you know, that will hopefully make a bit more sense to you, know, if you are finding this a lot difficult. So, um, I would definitely recommend going and have a look at that. Right, so, we've got a level thread bear one and all the way to bear three. So now, what we're actually doing now, we need to um, track how many bears have been damaged now then. So, of course, we don't want the like the, like the reward part of this um, to, uh, well, for example, the song playing or giving a player a weapon, something like that. Um, we don't want that to actually, you know, run once all three of these bears have been, you know, activated. So, we need to keep track of how many bears have been activated. So, level dot... Let's call this bear's damage, okay, because we're actually, you know, we, we are technically damaging the bear, uh, you know, by damaging the trigger. So, bear's damage, damaged. So, level dot bear's damaged, um, and let's set that to zero, equals zero, okay? So, we're going to set level dot bear's damaged equal to zero, because, of course, when we're at this stage of the script, you know, the player hasn't even shot one of the triggers yet so we're still at equal to zero now we're actually going to make the actual part of the script now then for this so first of all what we need to do is track what's happening with bear one so we, we're going to be doing sort of four functions now now each function will be one function for bear one bear two and bear three okay so we can track if if one of them has been you know activated and the final one will be like the reward function you know so what actually happens when you, once you've um activated all three if that makes any sense so let's do bear bear one so then now we need to set set something within the script equal to the trigger in game so i'm going to do bear one trigger bear one trigger equal to the actual trigger within the game and we call this bear one if you remember in Radiant, we uh, we set the the value of the target name on the actual trigger um, to bear one for bear one. So we do bear one and that add target name. Like that. Okay. So this ta this uh, this target name bear one, which is the trigger, is now equal to bear one trigger within the script. So next we need to wait until that trigger has been activated, uh, you know, or damaged. So bear one trigger wait till trigger okay so that's going to wait until that trigger has been damaged and then it will continue otherwise it'll just wait here so 
Next, we need to actually delete that trigger now because now it's been damaged. We don't want the player to you know to be able to activate it again. So now we need to delete it. So bear one trigger delete like that. Okay. So all it's going to do is, is it's going to set the trigger within the map equal to bear one trigger. It's going to wait until that trigger has been activated and it's going to delete the trigger. So now we actually need to add one onto the bear's damage okay because as you can see up here we said it's equal to zero but now we've just had one bear which has been damaged so now we need to increase that by one so let's do level dot bears damaged plus plus okay now what what's going to do is the bears damaged plus plus let's just go add one onto bears damaged okay that's pretty much all it does just increases it by one so next time we need to actually give ourselves some sort of notification, you know, we know that that's been damaged now. So let's just add some text on screen now then. So I print ln um, bear one has been damaged. Um, and let's tell ourselves how many bears we've damaged now in total. Um, that should be, you know, quite useful. So you don't have to do this part. This is just so when I'm testing it in game, we know, you know, how many bears have been damaged, you know, so we can track what this value is here, you know, as we're damaging the bear, you know, as we're damaging the triggers, we know what this value is as we're going along. So let's add in, uh, but this is how to add in a, um, like a value within the, uh, within like the on-screen text. Okay. So we're going to do that's the actual text. This is now it's going to be the value. Okay. So remember plus that's just going to allow us add in this uh, value now so plus level dot bears damaged and another plus and this now is where we've got to add the you know more text so if we left it as it is right now that would just say bear one has been damaged and then with the number of bears damaged so at this rate it would just say a number one we just have a random number one at the end of it so now we need to say what that number one stands for, you know, just so we know what's going on. So, level dot bear is damaged, and then after that we need to add uh, one. Um, so if it says one, two, or three, you'd probably want to say something like one bear has been damaged. So bear, I'm, I'm going to do bears just because when it changes to two, it would mean you know two bears, three bears, one bears. You, you can do whatever you really want for this bear or bears have been damaged like that okay right so there we go so all it's going to do is it's going to print some text in the top left hand corner of the screen and it's going to say bear one has been damaged then it's going to put the amount of bears that we've damaged in total which we're keeping up track of from all the way from up here we're then adding one down here so that's going to display as one if um you know up to now this would just display as this number one and then followed by bears have been damaged so one bears damaged one bears have been damaged I know, I know that doesn't make the the best sense one bears have been damaged but yeah i'm not really going into into depth of uh, how to you know how to decide if we should have an s or not because that's completely useless at this stage right so then next what we need to do is check if all three bears have been damaged okay because if we get to this stage now on bear number three let's say and all three bears have been damaged it doesn't have any way of knowing um if all three have been damaged or not yet okay so we need to know if all three bears have been damaged at this stage then we need to run the uh, like the reward function and if not then it can just move on to the other bears hopefully that makes sense so then we need to add in an if statement so if level dot bears damaged um, equals equals three make sure you do that um, double equals though by the way okay it's equals it equals okay so if level dot bears damaged so if the amount of bears that have been damaged is equal to three then we can thread the um like the reward function so uh, let's call it a uh, level thread let's call it all bears all bears there we go so all, all this will do is we'll wait until we've activated the trigger it's then going to delete the trigger it's then going to increase the bears damage to buy one it's going to 
put some text on the screen so we know it's been damaged and also how many bears we've damaged in total up to this point. And then it's going to check if bears, you know, if bears damaged is equal to three, then it's going to run the all bears function. If not, then it's just going to end this function. Okay. So next, what we need to do is pretty much just copy and paste bear one, um, so we can have bear two and bear three. Okay. And you can type all this out all over again. Um, but you can see what I'm about to do right now is literally just changing the number ones to number twos. So it's yeah, it's really not needed to retype everything all out all over again. Just change where it says bear one to bear two now, pretty much. Um, of course, you know if you had less than or more than three bears, then you know just customize this for how many bears you have. Okay, so uh, two. Um, Let's damage. Let's check. I've got everything changed. It seems looking up to now. It seems perfectly fine. Yep, that seems perfectly fine. Now let's do bear number three. This is our final bear. And then we can move on to like the reward part of the script. Change it from now to a three now. Then. There we go. I think that's. Pretty sure that's everything. Uh, I always like to have a quick, you know, look over things. If you know, if I am doing it like this, just to make sure I've not missed anything. Because obviously we will get, a, you know, we'll either get an error when we actually load the map, or we'll um, it just won't work properly in game if something if something's changed. So if something hasn't changed, where we want it to be changed. Right, that seems yeah, that seems perfectly fine. Right, so then now we need to actually do the all bears function now. So all bears. Okay, so this is what's going to run now then when all bears have been damaged. Okay, now this now is where you'd put things. Like, you know, if let's say you were going to give players a weapon, this now is where you'd put things like that. Um, as I said earlier though in this video, I'm just going to be making some text appear on the screen. Okay, so I print ln um, all three bears have been damaged not a full stop there we go i put a full stop there by accident so about that right so let's put an exclamation mark there as well so let's look up here that text on the screen now all three bears have been damaged so then that's pretty much done now then guys um as you can see up here we've threaded all these three functions so it keeps track of bear one bear two and bear three and then we're just tracking how many bears have been damaged across each script because if we didn't have this here then we would have to you know um damage each bear trigger in order but because we're not doing it in order we need some sort of way to track them um outside you know of that outside of this function really which i thought the best way to do that would be just through this um so yeah so i think that's that's pretty much done now then let's go save that there we go uh, we're going to close that down now then and move that back over to our root directory there we go and now of course you need to just compile your map like you would do normally and build your mod like you would do normally and um, i'll meet you guys over at wood at war where we'll go and test that this actually works so i'll see you guys over at wood at war okay so we've launched the map and let's go and see if this works so I'm going to shoot bear number two first, just so we can make sure that you know you don't have to do it in order. So we'll do bear number two, then bear three, and then bear one. So there we go, bear two has been damaged, one bears have been damaged. Do number three next. Bear three has been damaged, two bears have been damaged. And bear number one. Bear one has been damaged, three bears have been damaged, all three bears have been damaged. Awesome, so that works exactly how we want it to be working and uh, yeah guys remember if you don't want to use you know the model of a bear then you don't have to use that model uh, you can really use whatever model you want to and of course you know if you don't want to use three models you know three models and triggers in the map then uh, you know you can customize that to you know more or less than three if you want to so you yeah, guys um if you need any help on this you know you have any questions then please do leave it in the comments below and i'll try my best to help you there so you guys, thanks for watching this, thanks for the support as always, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys.